welcome to part two of Project Spitfire. I've already done some painting, um, but I thought before it went too far, I would, um, you know, show you the other painting that I've got to do. Uh, I've got to do some spraying and um, of different parts and that. But this is one of the parts that I have actually painted. It's the it's the cockpit, it's the seat it is. If you can see that, it, um, it's really really rather it's really rather nice and very delicate, and um, it's took a while to paint that but as you can see it looks really good and I'm really happy and pleased with that but um, I got other stuff to do I got to paint um, in here and I got other stuff to paint as well like like I got to paint this as well and that's called out in the instructions by there so I've got to do a bit of painting this actually takes um, three different colors um, so I thought I'd do a bit of painting and show you guys me spraying and um, we can move on yeah I've got I've got to do green uh, and I've got to do uh, metal and of course we can't forget black can we you know so uh, and what I've uh, done as well as if you noticed it I've marked them up in Tamiya colors and these are as close to Tamiya colors as I can get um, so without further ado let's let's get on with it I've already got my um, brush loaded up I haven't got the, um, the extractor on because it makes a lot of noise but if it gets a bit misty I will I will put it on so without further ado let's let's get on with it shall we guys and of course to my left I have a a little bench thing that I'm putting all the parts on so you can't really see it in shot but trust me it is there gotta bring that one back I forgot I always forget about some part when I'm spraying so uh, there's the underside okay so that's those parts of the fuselage done um, this is a part of the cockpit this is where the pilot sits so we've got to give this a good spray. This part here is actually two-toned. It's actually got um, where the the clip is holding it. That will actually be sprayed a different colour, but um, I, I need to mask that off and do some silver on it. Uh, but for now, it's getting its one colour. And of course, this is another part of the cockpit as well, and that needs to be sprayed up. This uh, uh, this Tanya XF six, six, um, 71. That's another part that needs to be sprayed. Extract on a bit, get rid of some of the fumes. Okay, um, this is another part that I need to spray up. I think this is part of um, that actually goes to the back of the cockpit. going to be putting lacquer on all of these 
Um, a top coat lacquer that will probably that'll be semi glass I'll get that out in a bit and there uh, you can see me doing that guys So that's that for this colour. I'm going to um, say bye for a minute while I go off and change colours. And I'll see you in a bit, guys. Bye now. Welcome back. Well, I've now changed inks. Um, I'm now on to black because quite a few parts of the instruction, instructions call it to be called black. But um, while I was doing that, I um, uh, before I changed over the black, rather, I actually loaded up with the um, gun metal. Uh, and I got a really nice effect with the exhausts as you can see yeah they, they really look like exhausts now um, and I, I love this color and the way they look so I sprayed those up there's, there's only those two to do anyway um, I just thought I'd get on with it so I could show you guys this other stuff now something I am gonna show you is now in the instructions it actually calls out for this part which is part of the canopy which goes, uh, which are there, this part here, which is that part, it's got two metal parts on it as well, it actually calls it out to be painted um, aluminium, but this is a little trick I learned, I'll be spraying this semi-gloss black, and then spraying aluminium on top of it, and you get a realistic, really deep uh, aluminium shine, and I'll show you that when I, when I go to um, spray the aluminium colour, but I need to spray it black first, so that's what I'm going to do now. So let's get on with it, guys. course that's the instrument panel panel there that's a uh, that'll be very interesting because I've got some very nice decals to put on that but obviously um, that'll be for another video and I will definitely show you guys how I do that because it's very interesting that there's actually about four or five um, decals that go on it and um, they go on in a specific way so I will definitely show you guys how I do that and of course we've got the wheels But the center of the wheels are actually chrome um, or aluminium so i'll spray the whole thing black and then i'll mask off and do um the parts that need um aluminium and that'll be really interesting that well i'll get a really nice effect from it as well this is the other wheel And then we got the propeller.
I might have run out. No, I've got plenty in there. Um, this is, I think this one, yes it is. This is part of the uh, landing gear. It calls for it to be um, silver, but obviously, like I've already said, I'm spraying it black first. And then when I come to um, doing this actual silver bit, I'll show you guys that. And you'll be, you'll be pleasantly surprised at the really good effect you get with, um, you know, spraying black first and then putting silver on top of the black. I'm not sure of the chemical composition or why it really works. But I just know that it really works and it really works very well. Um, so please try this. I and mean, it's like I've always said, you've got to try these things and experiment with them and find out what works and what doesn't. And as always, you can always, if it doesn't work, you can always peel it off. This is actually, this is actually um, goes underneath the Spitfire and I, it's the coolant it is. And this is going to get sprayed silver as well. Um, so obviously this needs a good, good coat of black. okay so there we are guys that's all the black done i do need to come back and i do need to spray this uh black but i need to mask this off first and i need to let it dry so before i can even mask it i gotta let it dry a bit more then i can mask it and then i gotta spray it black and then silver so i shall see you in a bit goodbye for now Hello again, and welcome back i thought i'd show you uh, the chroming and i'm gonna chrome with a nice bit of uh mr color here and here's the three parts that we're going to well not so much chrome but um give a aluminum effect remember these i i, I paid i sprayed them black um and it was the other one there it is so these have all dried nicely now they've had their good 15 minutes so i'm going to spray these with a nice silver and you're going to notice the big difference um so let's go along i loaded up my airbrush as well so this is the first one that's what it looks like beforehand and we're going to put a nice coat of uh, chrome on it now and you'll see it go really striking. You can probably see the effect already. It's really effective. I'm, I'm really, I discovered, I discovered this technique by absolute pure mistake. I really did. I was painting one day and I got um, a blob of, um, you know, uh, silver on some black and the effect was fantastic. And, and there you go, guys. I'll bring it a little lot closer for you. It's really, really quite good isn't it you know um, and the effect is very very striking I'm very happy with that do another one this, these are the uh, actual legs for the landing gear there you go doesn't that look so much better it's really quite breathtaking and quite stunning just just how wonderful it looks yeah see i'll get it as close as i possibly can for you guys you know really quite striking isn't it you know the, the contrast uh, i don't know how it really works yeah and if anybody really understands it please comment but putting a, a white primer then black and then putting the the aluminium or the chrome or the silver on top yeah really brings out the true depth of that color and makes it really realistic you know so this is the the last one this is the intercooler and we're going to give this a good spray
there we go he's now striking really shiny and that's how it will look on the, the spitfire so you can see you can really see the um intercooler and you can all see all the detail on there it'll be really quite striking here yeah. just give it another blast and there you go guys you can see the uh, effect you get with white primer um a, you know even a flat black or a gloss black or high gloss black is even better and then putting um, like a bare metal chrome aluminium on top of that and then obviously um, seal it with a lacquer and you get a really realistic uh, metal effect I'm gonna go off and um, do some more stuff but um, I will be back and show you some more spraying until then you take care